Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel, Coffee Tea Paper. My name's Louise and I have another Ferris Wheel Press ink for you today. And it's another one in their Three Little Pigs collection. Uh, I did review oh, last month this one called The Curious Woods, uh, which is a brown base with shimmer in it. Uh, and this is another one in that collection which is all about the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf etc so before I do the swatching of that it's always fun to read the story behind it particularly for the fairy tales inks the everyday inks um, are always in a theme as well but uh, I do like the particular whimsy of the fairy tale ones. With a huff and a puff, the wolf's breath swirls and surges, whipping through the sage forest and sweeping the pig's land with the fervour of a tempest. The straw and wooden house never stood a chance, collapsing with a sigh, kicking up clouds of debris in a haze of green. As the dust settles, who? will be remaining to endure the quest. Let the gust of this deep eucalyptus give you the strength to journey through your own everyday tales. So caught in a flurry of sticks and straw, the pigs must hold on to their things or risk losing them to the wind. Can you spot all their spilled ink bottles? Oh dear, we'll have to have a look at the package in a minute. Is that the town and country mouse entangled in their neighbours' squabble on their way to the big city? As they say, it's which I've never heard this saying, let me know if you have. As they say, it's better to gnaw a bean than be gnawed by fear. Huh. In the haze of chaos, clouds of grey-green cloud the pig's vision, the inspiration for this enchanting shade. So this is called Gale Force Green. <laughs> so it's meant to be a deep eucalyptus with geochrome green pink shimmer. So I guess the difference between this is this is a brown base with green pink shimmer and this is supposedly a eucalyptus green base with a green pink shimmer. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's have a look on the box for uh, some of these details that they're talking about. Here's a piggy being blown about, the ink bottle with the ink spilling, a big bad wolf here, another ink bottle blowing, huffing and puffing. Where's the little mouse? I want to see the little mouse now. <laughs> More ink. That's a pig. Is that the mouse? He appears to have whiskers. Okay, so let's uh, have a look. Because it's a shimmer ink, we will have to give it a bit of a mild agitation. <laughs> Oh, I haven't stamped. We've got our ink bottle stamped now and ready to go. Uh, I always like to hold these ink bottles in my hand while I'm using my dip pen. Uh, I don't have a, a stand or a holder for it and they're very round. <laughs> um, just makes me a little nervous. Um, we will do our swatch on the Ferris wheel press color spectrum swatch card as well as on uh, this page which is Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM and this is uh, a new journal insert that I've recently started from Sarika Studio and I must say I am really really enjoying using it the the grid on it is so fine but um, it's great for keeping my calligraphy well, I could call it calligraphy, my wannabe calligraphy <laughs> um, on a nice angle and so forth. 
uh, I'm going to swatch just with a normal paintbrush and then we'll do the writing test with I'm going to stick with my Kakamori dip pen here with the stainless steel nib as well as my Sailor Hokoro uh, interchangeable dip pen here I've got the um, medium nib on this one so you can see just how quickly that shimmer settles um, so you do have to kind of keep it moving wow that's on tight that was the tightest lid fit I have ever come across um yeah that was big effort I'll put the lid back on and uh, move it around a bit more. Um, I did try to make sure that I got some of the shimmer on there. Sometimes it's hard to tell while it's wet and then when it dries off it's, um, it's kind of revealed. I'll bring that back in in a moment. So I'm going to do my title with my Kakamori. All right, before I do my writing sample with the uh, Hokoro dip pen, I'm just going to once again move this shimmer around. And uh, yeah, I've got a, quite a big puddle there on my page, haven't I? <laughs> Let's have a look at this one though. This is starting to dry off nicely. Um, I did notice in the Curious Woods ink that the pink shimmer was really hard to to find. The the green shimmer did tend to overwhelm it a bit. We'll see if that's the same for this one or if it's a little bit more uh, of an even spread. Alright, so uh, this sample on the uh, Tamari River paper, I've gone in very, very wet. So it's still got uh, a big puddle in the middle that we're waiting to, to dry. I really was trying to make sure that I got some of that pink shimmer on the paper. So at the end, I will, when it's dry, I'll do a nice close up so you can really have a look and we'll see how it uh, dries up. In the meantime, this one on this Ferris Wall Press swatching book, which is like a, a smooth hot press paper, it's quite thick, tends to soak up the ink quite quickly and it also tends to give it a bit of a matte, fairly uniform finish to the ink, uh, whereas the Tamari River paper tends to bring out all sorts of interesting characteristics and uh, you see a lot more of the, I guess, uh, colours and blending that may have gone into constructing the ink. Uh, once again, I can see that the, first and foremost, it's definitely a deep, deep eucalyptus. Uh, and then the green shimmer is definitely dominating, but, and I hope this is getting picked up on the camera, um, but as I move it here, as I tilt it away from me, I am seeing hints of pink. 
which I only managed to get in one photo actually of the Curious Woods. So that's definitely, it's there. It's just very, very subtle. Uh, as this one's drying off, I can see also predominantly green shimmer. Um, so once it's dried, I'll also try and remove that a bit and see if I can get that pink shimmer to, to come out. I was a little concerned that they might be a bit similar. Uh, however, I don't think they are. I think they're quite different, and um, which is a good thing. Uh, they should be complementary, however, given that they're in the same series. And here's a Curious Woods swatch in this book. And I think they're definitely uh, complementary inks. You could use these on the on a same spread to create a background or to do a title uh, to really get that shimmer coming out. Yeah, I mean, look, shimmer inks are always a bit of a novelty, right? And uh, I tend to put this disclaimer in every video with a shimmer ink, but please don't um, ink up your very fine and extra fine pens with shimmer ink. Um, I do know a couple of my lovely viewers have commented that they have had success. However, they have also been incredibly diligent about keeping the pen in use and also giving it a really, really thorough clean um, when they're finished with it. So um, if you tend to have a lot of pens inked and you're not using it, um, daily uh, I would just stick to a medium to broad to stub type nib and I do find it useful myself to if I'm inking up shimmering to put it in something like a demonstrator so that you can see when the, the uh, shimmer settles and you can just gently move that ink around in your pen and you can see that it is um, mixed through and then you're ready to write and then as you see it uh, settle uh, and stop being so dispersed throughout the ink then you need to stop move it around again and start writing again um, that's just what works for me um, because you can see just how quickly it does settle on the bottom of this bottle and even if I'm holding it upside down like this you can see that it does take some time for it to start dropping. Um, I do have to move it around in order to encourage it. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't stay dispersed for long um, in the ink. Anyway, let me know what you think about this ink and this collection as well. Um, I only have two of it. There are um, going to be, well, there's probably more or there will be more. Um, I haven't obviously done my homework with that. <laughs> I probably should. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. If you like seeing ink reviews and uh, particularly Ferris Wheel Press inks, then um, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel uh, and also give this video a like. I also have a discount code that you can use at Ferris Wheel Press, any Ferris Wheel Press uh, website all around the world, and that is JA-CTP. I will put it on the screen. And they're always running special deals and offers and they have a loyalty points program. And yeah, they're, they're quite proactive. They're always having special deals and offers. I think at the moment on the Australian website, there's something like buy one full-sized ink, get one free. Um, however, the popular colors do go quickly. So if it is an ink that you're excited about. I wouldn't hesitate for too long. Um, excitingly, on not on the Australian website, but on some of the other ones, uh, they've started bringing out sample size bottles in 10 mil, 10 milliliter sizes. 
which is a really nice way to try a variety of inks. However, the issue with that is if you find an ink that you really like and you have uh, purchased a 10 mil uh, sample and then you want to get the full size, there is a chance it could have sold out. However, you can ask to be notified if there is a restock. And periodically they put surveys out on Instagram uh, saying if there's any, like out of these three inks, say, um, which is your favorite that you would like to see restocked. So they're quite, um, they're quite proactive in that sense. So on that note, I will say, it's still not dry, I will say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for watching and for being here and uh, stay tuned for some close-up uh, action of the dried ink samples. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.